Hi, I'm Nia Phil, here for Scooch TV, and we're covering the IOMAs in Dublin, Liberty Hall. And I'm here with ja uh, Jackie Hayden, and if you don't know, he was one of the fa he was the founder of Hot Press. And uh, I'm just going to ask you a few questions here. Okay. How did you start out uh, in, your, in your career? How did I start? Um, yeah. Well, I was originally working with a German company called Siemens who manufactured vacuum cleaners and fridges and I was an invoice clerk. But they had a department which uh, distributed records including the Polydor record label, which was developing at the time and they needed somebody uh, to move into that department who knew a little bit about pop music and rock music which was developing and uh, I applied for the job and got it, so that's where I started. Yeah, and here we are today. Yeah, well, I spent virtually all of my working life uh, in the music business or the music media, so it's been been very good over the years. Yeah. Uh, would you say that the music industry has changed much over the years? Oh, it's changed enormously. It was always changing. I mean, new things were always being introduced, whether it was mono vinyl albums and then stereo uh, albums and then cassettes and then 8-track cartridges and then even more recently uh, the introduction of the CD and now the internet and MP3s and all the rest of it. So it's an industry that's constantly in change and I think that's one of the attractions it has for me. Yeah. Uh, go to the next question. What's your favourite aspect of your job? Uh, the variety, the fact that uh, nearly every day is totally different um, uh, and uh, the fact that one day you might be spending time reviewing an album but the next day you're interviewing somebody and the day after that uh, you might have to go on the radio or do a television spot about maybe an artist who has died or something like that. So when I get up in the morning I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing for the full day and that really appeals to me. So the main thing is that you love your job and yeah, I have no complaints about it. I like the variety and I like music. I'm constantly fascinated by, by music and uh, I love writing about it. That's amazing. So how long does it take to create an issue of progress? Well, in, in most of it, it takes a full fortnight, but we would be working on, on some aspects of it weeks and weeks in advance because uh, you have to plan things like covers and some of the major interviews have to be planned well ahead. For example, if somebody like, uh, for argument's sake, Bruce Springsteen is coming to town and we're going to have an interview with him, that might be until July. So you have to get ready for that and make sure you keep space for it. And then you're at the same time trying to keep space so if something suddenly happens at the last minute, a, a new story breaks, you've got room for that to come in as well. Um, how do you get um, an article in your book? Uh, you mean as a journalist? Yes. Well, you could contact our commissioning editor and run an idea past her. Her name is Roisin Dwyer. Or you could just simply send a copy of it in via email or in the post. And if she thinks there's room for it and it suits the hot press style, she might use it. Uh, but you'd have to be very familiar with hot press and the kind of things we do. There's really not much point in just taking a shot in the dark and chancing your arm. It doesn't work like that. Thank you very much uh, for being here and everything. And I'm Irene Field with Stitch TV.